What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lime and Football and today's video is going to be my second favorite face mask of all time and that is one reason because it looks sick, two, I made it myself. So I found a video on YouTube and it just popped up in my feed by the King of Random, probably some of you guys know of him, uh, called Hydro Dipping where basically you just spray paint in water, oil-based paint, it stays at the top, you can dip anything in it. A lot of commercial places do it and they do a really good job but this is the DIY way. I saw it, I knew I had to do something. I saw my old face mask sitting around, made a post on Instagram about what colors to do, and thought I would try it out. And I think it came out absolutely sick. Now, I was going for more of like a tiger pattern on it, but it came out more of like a camo. I'm completely okay with that as a result. It looks super sick. Now, I've talked enough about this. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We're going to put this thing on a helmet. Let's get into the video. So just so you know, I'm wearing a respirator mask. This is an air filtration that I use in my workshop down here just because of all the dust. Also, when I do sanding, I like to do it on top of a mat like this just because it, you can see it helps keep all the dust in. First thing I did is I roughed everything over with 80 grit. Now, because it's gonna be a little easier, I'm gonna use the 150 grit sponge here. And that's just gonna help even the surface out a little bit. And that way I'll get it to a point where it'll be good to prime. Because right now it kind of looks rough. So go through, do that. And it doesn't need to be perfect because the primer is what's gonna help the other paint stick to it. That's just gonna help even it out a little bit so you won't see any of this stuff through it. Again, this is all just a big experiment, so who really knows how else it's gonna go? Let's get into the next step here. All right, now let's go wipe it down. After I wipe it down, we can prime it, and then I will get into the hydrophobic part. Now, if you wanna just paint your mask anything, this will be the first step. So what I'm gonna do first, because black covers really well, is I'm gonna do a light coat of black from two angles. I'm gonna hold it upside down one time, other way the other time, and that way I'll get a full coat. So I'll basically hold it like this with the fishing line that I did outside, then I'll put a fishing line on the bottom, hold it like this and hit it from the exact opposite angle. That way I'll get full coverage, and then I can go back on with the yellow and the black again for the actual hydro dipping and that way i should have a hundred percent solid because i'm a little afraid i won't be able to get enough paint in the bucket to completely coat this thing i'm going to quickly do the fishing line up i'm going to try and place you down in a way so you, again you can see what i'm doing so first one let's do it through the bottom so i'm just going to wrap it around the bottom here a couple quick knots Okay, that's solid. I'm gonna take this end here and I'm gonna tie a little knot in it. Okay, I'm gonna go paint this like this quick for the coat and that way it can dry while I'm at school. I can come back tonight, do it the other way and then I can hydro dip tomorrow. Okay, so here we go. We're finally at the stage where we can actually do the paint on the face mask. So if you guys still follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me there because that is where I pulled people on what color of tiger print they'd like to see on this. In reality, I found I had black yellow on hand i like the combo black and yellow we're going with black and yellow on this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray in here uh, we spray the paint in it has to be oil-based paint if it's water-based it's going to dissolve in the water also by making using hot or warm water it's going to help give a little bit more time for the paint before because it gums up on the top which you'll see so i got two little hangers on it i'm going to do the paint i'm going to drop the mask in then i'm going to swirl it all around to get all the excess off then we'll, uh, then we'll just go from there. Then let's bring it downstairs. It's gonna take about a day at least to dry uh, cause there will be water trapped in it. So we'll have to get rid of that. But I think that's it. I think I'm ready to do it. Come on. Oh. 
more yellow. Let's go black right in the center. Oh God, here we go. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of all the other paint. Did it work? Oh. All right, let's take this shit downstairs to dry. Okay, now a couple key tips to remember when doing this. One, remember to use warm water, that way you have more time before the paint like gels off, that's a big thing. Uh, two would be, remember you have to use oil-based paint, if you use a water-based paint, it'll just dissolve in the water, that's no good. Um, three would be, you need to find a good way to hook it on. I used the ends, I thought that was super effective. Four, you need to use a really deep tub, that way you can dunk it in deep enough to get all the extra paint off. Um, and five, I think definitely for the way, just because I knew how much surface area was on this, definitely maybe do a coat of something on the on the front or on the back first, because as you can see, I didn't get a lot of coating on the back here, and that's because most of it was used on the front. Also, don't forget, these are for show pieces only. Do not paint your mask, clear coat it, and then wear it in a game, because it chips super easy. It ruins your uniforms, the other team's uniforms, your face masks. It chips off, it can get in your eyes, mouth. It's just super dangerous. Do not do this. This is for a showpiece helmet only, which is what I am using it for. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now again, I love doing super cool projects like this. If you have any other ideas for like DIY things you want to try, you want me to test out first, leave those down below. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks.